The Roval at Charlotte, it did not disappoint. A.J. Amendinger, I didn't see that coming. I don't think a lot of people saw that coming. We always thought the playoff drivers are going to win the playoff races. But A.J. took it to another level. But the guy I want to talk about is Martin Truex. Martin Truex, where have you gone, man? Where have you gone? The 11 races leading up to the playoffs, Martin Truex was hot, smoking hot. Out of 11 races, he won two of them and only finished outside the top five or ten twice. That's an amazing streak when you look back on it. When we get to the playoffs, cold. Martin Truex has no top tens, has not even sniffed the top 15 in the playoffs. That's crazy to me. Here's a guy who we had going all the way to Phoenix, all the way to the championship back in June and July. And now, crickets. We don't even hear him mentioned as a guy. Is there a switch? I think there is a switch because obviously he hit that switch in the midsummer and that switch has gone off sometime as the playoffs started. They can hit it again. They can get hot and Martin Truex is that kind of driver. But the interesting thing to me is Martin Truex as a past champion and Kyle Larson as a past champion because if we look at the first round of the playoffs, we saw Kevin Harvick and Joey Logano, two past champions, sent home. Second round of the playoffs, Kyle Busch and Brad Keselowski sent home. So that's four in the first two rounds. We only have two remaining. Will these two champions be sent home in the round of eight? That's going to be the interesting thing to see because we could roll in the Phoenix with four, four new contenders and a brand new champion for 2023. Now, wouldn't that make this year a great year?